Hey guys, it's Katie from Fairy Tale Crafts, and I just wanted to come to you with a quick little um, share video of some Happy Mail and some more um, costume jewelry that I had found for a dollar. And then I have a question about my Copic markers for anybody that's Copic marker literate, um, because apparently I'm not. So. Um, anyways, let me start out by my happy mail, and this was the true meaning of happy mail. I have had the worst week, and it just seems like it's so hectic. I don't feel good still, and it's, you know, run, 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 ball tournaments, pitch practice. We just got back from another softball practice, and I just don't feel like I have time to do anything, much less relax. Um... So, I got some happy mail the last three days, and um, I wanted to share. So, this first card I got is from Cassie Keith, and her YouTube name is Cassie Keith. Very, very talented um, lady. You need to go over and check her out. Subscribe to her if you haven't already. She does amazing mini albums, which I haven't even tried to tackle that yet. Um... But she makes amazing um, mini albums, and she's just, she seems like a really sweet, nice, genuine, good-hearted person. So I really like to watch her videos and her channel. Um, and she had a challenge not too long ago that I participated in where you had to use, like, two different shades of green. You had to use some paint or stickles, you know, I, I made a um, video and put it on here, it's of the frame that I made her, so anyway, she sent me this card, and um, handmade card, and I love handmade cards, and as all of you know that do watch my videos, I've been showing some of the cards that I've been making, so I love to get handmade cards, because it gives me so much inspiration. But I loved how she embossed this. I'm sure she used an embossing folder, and I haven't even tried mine yet, so now this makes me want to. And I love this Spellbinder die. I'm going to have to buy that one. But anyway, so that's the front of the card, and of course it's green. That's her favorite color. And I can share with you what she wrote on the inside because it's not real personal. Katie, thanks for entering my challenge. I love the frame that you made for me. Thanks, Cassie Keith. And that's how you spell her name and, that, and her YouTube name. Um, so I thought that was really sweet. I didn't win her challenge, but she took the time to make me a thank you card, and that's really special to me. So thank you so much, Cassie. And then... Um, I got, <laughs> my sister had a challenge um, going on not too long ago where you had to make some ticket strips, and um, my sister is I Artist Stone, so if you heard about her ticket strip challenge, I participated knowing that, you know, she couldn't, I couldn't be eligible to win, you know, her luck and my luck, she would have pulled my name. <laughs> So, um, I told her I just wanted to do it to, to you know, to support her and, and to do a video response and get the word out about her challenge. Well, um, Pam had made some ticket strips, um, because she had gotten a new die, and I told her, you know what, you should enter my sister's challenge. Well, she did, and, um, so... As a thank you, she sent me one of the ticket strips she made, which is gorgeous. And this is how, this is her name um, on YouTube. And I didn't want to say it because I wanted you to be able to spell it right when you go look her up. Anyway, um, her little note says, Katie, I hope these made it to you in, a, in good shape. Never know what's going to get torn up in the mail these days which is not a joke at all. That's the truth. Um, hope you like them, and I'll look forward to them on a future project from you, your friend Pam. Well, Pam, I probably will never use them because I will probably hoard them because they're just gorgeous. I love anything fairy or butterfly, and I love bling bling, and that is what this is. So this is what she sent me. And I know my camera is not doing it justice. 
and I'm even filming in the kitchen so that there was more light but um, each little ticket strip here has bling on it and a blingy butterfly and they're all different color and that's so pretty um, but she showed that on her video response and I commented that I loved them that they were gorgeous and next thing I know she wanted my address so that she could send them to me so I appreciate it so much I love them I will treasure them and I will never probably ever use them Pam um, but thank you so much for thinking of me and sending those to me it really made my day and then <clears throat> I got some Happy Mail from Gloria, which is um, Crafty Cake 7 on YouTube, and she sent me this card. Look at how beautiful that card is, just alone, all by itself. That card is just gorgeous, and I love, love the butterflies. Anyway, this is the kind of cards I aspire to make, and in the cards... Look what she sent me. This one says, I believe in fairies. And it's a charm. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I will never use it unless I use it on a project for myself. Um, because everybody knows that I love fairies. And this is just... I mean, this is perfect to put on a necklace and just wear it around. And then, if that wasn't enough, she sent me this charm, this fairy charm. Let me look at how cute that is. Isn't she gorgeous? And I just almost wanted to cry when I saw that she did that for no reason at all. And her little card. Hi, Katie. This is just a little something for you. Thanks for being so supportive, kind, and so very talented. This is not much, but it comes from the heart. Have have a great day, girly. Your crafty friend, Gloria. And this is her YouTube. Crafty Cake 7 on YouTube. And Gloria, this is so... I mean, this means so much to me. And I just... Like I said, I wanted to cry when I got it. It just... The thought alone, just hang on, my family's coming in, so they're probably going to be loud. Anyways, the thought of this alone was um, very, very, very nice, and I appreciate it so much, and thank you so much. Okay, and so, moving on, I wanted to share some more of the costume jewelry that I think would make some amazing stick pins and these were sent to me as well um, and apparently they were costume jewelry from like a dollar store like a we have one here it's a every, all everything's a dollar costume jewelry um, anyway and I just wanted to share them with you and um, so pretty and they have the you know the little hearts so I can use that on the stick pin along with the clear and the spacers and the beads. So there's pink and there's brown and there's blue and red and orange. And I thought they were really pretty. Well then, also here's some, and can you imagine people actually wear these earrings you know because they they sell them but anyways here's more of the um, earrings that have that mesh bling on them and this one's multicolored mesh bling um, they both open up into little squares but before I disassembled them I wanted to share them with you um, so pretty so cute and I love them so, I wanted to share those with you before they got made into stick pins. Um, and these are all just a dollar at that dollary, or dollar jewelry rama thing. Or my jig. Okay, and so, now, on to the question about my Copic markers. I have been watching YouTube videos, and my question is, half the 
people that have them say that you store them upright like this. to you guys is do you store them upright or sideways because I'm looking at buying a container and there's one container that I can put them in that stores them upright and one container that I can buy that stores them laying sideways which sideways would make more sense to me and I keep them in this box laid sideways so um I don't know. You need to let me know if, if you do the whole Copic marker thing. And then um, I, need, I'm, I did another mistake in like one video that I showed. And I have got three markers. Um, I just got not too long ago, pretty recently. And I already have these three markers. And like I said, Michaels doesn't um, exchange or take back because they don't know whether or not you have used them and then decided to bring them back. So um, what I've decided to do with these is just do a little mini giveaway. So stay tuned for that and I'll let you know. Um, it's probably not going to be anything big. It's not going to be a big challenge or anything like that. It's just going to be something um, you know, commenting or, or something, something little where you can win these three unused Copic markers. Um, but I did get smart and I sat down and wrote down a list of all the Copic marker colors that I have. So, um, I can put this in my purse and every time I go to buy any, I can pull them out, see if I, you know, see the name, see the number, see if I've already got them, so that this won't keep happening to me because this is this is the third time now. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and thank you, ladies, for the happy mail. And um, like I said, just comment below and let me know how you store your Copic markers. And um, everybody have. Good night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.